Hi, my name is Dan and I'm one of the DT evangelists here at Digital Tutors. In this video, we're going to look at a question from one of our users, Any Tricks, on how to help eliminate some flickering in our renders that utilize image-based lighting. Okay, so to illustrate this, I just have a very simple scene set up here. Basically, if I scrub through this, we can see we have this uh, object that's just moving along our floor. I have a plane down here as a floor. So, um, I also have image-based lighting set up in this scene. So if I were to go ahead and just render out an image sequence, we can see that we get back some uh, our render, and we have some issues with the actual shadow. You can see we're getting some flickering in there going on with the shadow. It's actually not that uncommon of an issue to have. Okay, so let's take a look at a couple things that we can do to help uh, minimize that flickering. Okay, so one thing we can do, we can come up to our render settings, and if we come into the indirect lighting tab, come down to final gathering, and we we'll want to increase the number of rays that are actually cast into the scene. Uh, and that way, Maya will be able to um, have more rays to work with, and that will help to eliminate some of that flickering. Now it also will increase your render time, so that's something you want to keep in mind. So uh, say if we were to increase that. Now another option that we could do uh, would be to actually adjust this point interpolation. And basically what that's going to do is that's going to try to blend together our final gather points uh, that we set here in order to help smooth out the result. So uh, we could raise that up a little bit, um, as well as coming into the tracing here there's actually an option for the final gather mode to optimize for animations. So we could go ahead and set that in there. Um, now if we were to come in and do a batch render of this, okay, so now that our render is completed, let's uh, hop into uh, F-Track here and take a look at what the render looks like. Oh, scrub through here. And as we can see, um, the issues with the flickering has gone down a little bit. Uh, but there's still still a little bit there. Uh, and so th another great way that we can help to get rid of the flicker, flicker is to actually add uh, an actual light into our scene. Okay, so if we were to come in, um, zoom out a little bit here, let's add in something like an area light. Let me rotate this in, and just scale it up. Um, since I did go ahead and scale it up, we'll probably want to adjust the intensity settings of it. So I'll come into the attribute editor here and bring this down quite a bit. Okay, and uh, next thing I want to do is to actually turn on the shadows for this. So that way uh, we'll be able to have the object casting shadows and that will help to um, minimize some of the flickering that we're getting from the shadows that Final Gathering is causing. Okay, so I turn on my ray trace shadows and increase my shadow rays so that we get some nice smooth shadows there. Okay, so with that set, let's come back in and uh, do another batch render to get our image sequence back out. Okay, so now that our render is completed, let's come back in and uh, open it up and take a look at it here. Open up the animation. And as we can see, uh, by introducing this uh, area light, we've added a shadow in here. Uh, so we're not able to see the flickering that's being caused by Final Gather nearly as much. Um, of course, in my case, the shadow is uh, pretty harsh here. So I may want to go back in to Maya and adjust the uh, shadow color in order to help lighten that up a little bit. Um, but those are just a couple different things that we can look at in order to minimize the flickering in our renders that are based are using image-based lighting um, by adjusting things like the f number of final gather rays by adjusting the accuracy here the point interpolation uh, adjusting the final gather mode to optimize for animations or even by bringing in a new light into our scene now it's important to keep in mind uh, that as with any scene that has final gathering in it the actual settings are going to be very dependent on the size of your scene so the values that I'm using in this video may not be what you actually need for your project. So if you want to get more in-depth and learn about how to get HDR working in your project, uh, check out the HDRI workflow with Maya and Photoshop course.